Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you how to combine two columns in Excel into one. Uh, this is something that in doing data analysis or cleaning up data in, in worksheets or workbooks, something that you'll probably come across quite a bit, something very, very easy to do, uh, but I just want to show you how you can easily do that in just a few minutes, learn how to do that and figure that out. So really what we all we have to do is use the concat function. And so what this does is this is going to take two columns and combine them together. So I'm just going to go and hit tab and then it's going to ask, ask for text one. So I'll do uh, a comma and then text two, which we're going to combine the first and the last name in these two columns and then hit close parenthesis there. And something that we're going to, it, this is going to give us what we're asking for, but it's going to kind of come out ugly and I'll show you what I mean. So once we hit enter, we have that combination of column A and column B, but they're together and they are combined. There's no space. It's kind of ugly. So what we need to do is when we're doing this formula, again, we'll do equal concat. We'll hit tab. We'll do our text one. We'll do a comma. And then if we want a space, what we'll do is quotation marks, and then we'll do a space, and then another quotation marks, and that's gonna be considered our second text or character. And then we'll we'll do Smith as the last, uh, last name being the last text in that string. So once we have that, we're gonna do cl close parentheses, enter, and then it gives us the name how we want it. So it's gonna show up as John Smith, the full name together with a space in the middle. Uh, however, let's say we don't want a space, we want a comma, uh, we'll just move that space, replace it with a comma or a character, whatever it is, we'll hit enter, and it's gonna, it's gonna fill it in as we want. So let's say maybe we wanna do last name, comma, space, first name. What we can do is equals concat, we'll do text one, so we want the last name to be first, uh, and so that last name is going to be our first bit of text. And then we want a comma. So we're going to do, again, quotation marks, comma, quotation marks. And that's going to be our second piece of text. And then let's say now we want a space before we do the first name. So we're going to do another quotation marks, a space, another quotation mark, and then our comma. And then our text for the last thing we want to include is the first name. So then we'll just click on that first name. And that should be our entire string. And then we'll do close parentheses, enter. So now it's giving us exactly what we're looking for. Our last name, comma, first name. And then we can just click and drag this. And then it's going to go ahead and it's going to show all of those um, different columns have combined into the one column. So again, very, very easy to do with the concat feature, uh, a formula in Excel. Uh, I hope this answers your questions. Please let me know if you have any additional questions. And uh, please let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make. And then I ask, please uh, subscribe to the Excel guy and have a great day.